Hi right, guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today, we're going to take a look at the Stealth Aura. So I finally bit the bullet and I purchased the Stealth Aura. So let's take a quick look. So basically, as you can see, sadly, one of the things with the Auras is that it, it covers the eyes of your character. So it pretty much overwrites anything uh, that is any texture, any colors that is on your on your uh, on the material of your gear. The only exception to that seems to be the emblems. Uh, I'm going to look at a few things, so we're going to be able to experiment a bit. Uh, it works best usually with uh, gear that has a lot of uh, relief in it, a lot of uh, embossing and all the, that good stuff. Uh, the material itself looks uh, really neat, although it does look a bit uh, too monochromatic, if it makes any sense. It likes contrast, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's try a few variations. So again, basically, you can see that wherever there's a, an emblem, we keep the emblem. That That's not in a, a problem. And uh, if you have a lot of texture, like in the shield, a lot of... Uh, of uh, relief, high relief, or uh, it it really works well with the material, as you can see. Sadly, as you can see, it covers pretty much the eyes of your of your mask. There was a workaround uh, pre previously where if you were equipping uh, if you were equipping a face mask, like uh, let's say the full domino, you could actually see the full domino on top of the the material. But in this case, it really seems to uh, to to even grab the the full uh, domino mask, even if there's no material uh, on on the domino mask itself. So as you can see, it works really well with certain uh, certain uh, pieces of equipment that have a lot of uh, a lot of detail in them. Now let's try the latest uh, Batman Beyond gear. We can still kind of see the eyes, but again, there's no uh, no white in the eyes. And you can see also all the the relief on the the emblem and the, the, the all the lines and all that good stuff. So with a with a new new set of gear like the the Batman Beyond set of gear, it works uh, it works really well. I don't have all the Batman Beyond gear on this character, but you you get the idea. Ideally, if you really want to get the maximum out of it, you have to wear a, 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 a headpiece that doesn't cover the eyes. So that way, even if the material covers everything, well, you still see the eyes of your character. But it's it's your call. You you decide if you want to to see the eyes or not. So you can see you can still see the the bat really well uh, on the chest piece, even though it's all one color. It's almost as if it it adds it adds a a coat of almost chocolate on top of your character, if it makes any sense in terms of texture. I guess a coat of wax would be would make more sense. Well, let's look with another. So again, with the call with the, like big eyes open, you can you can see the eyes fine. So ideally, if you don't want if you don't want to cover the eyes, you're gonna have to select a call that allows you uh, to actually see the eyes. And again, as you can see with the emblems, we we can still see the emblem uh, just fine. I mean, let's tweak the colors of the emblem a bit. That's the NS version of the Flash Emblem, that's why it is uh, so bright. But you get the idea. So that is pretty much it for the, uh, the stealth material. So it gives you a good idea of what the, the material looks like. It is a steep uh, investment, though. It'll, re it'll require you uh, to open a lot of time capsules in order to get all the quarks you need. You need like uh, 5,000 uh, plus quarks. So 
start saving your quarks, uh, you're going to need lots of them if you want to have that uh, material at some point. I toyed with, uh, I wasn't too sure exactly which character I should give it to. The, the only thing, the, the sad thing also is that this is only for one character. So if you want the stealth material on many characters, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I, I don't think that's going to be doable. Especially considering that there's uh, there's th three different materials and there's a whole bunch of auras. So all the, the, the things that odds are you're going to want to purchase from the Quarks uh, vendor uh, pretty much can guarantee that uh, you're, you're not going to be able to, to buy uh, most of those on multiple characters. And uh, with that, I'm pretty much done buying uh, opening uh, time capsules until uh, probably the next uh, DLC. That's not true. I'll probably open a uh, handful or two, but uh, I, won't, I had to open a lot of time capsules in order to be able to... to I wasn't trying to get the stealth material. Basically, I was uh, looking for a few specific uh, collections. And uh, I ended up opening uh, enough that I was able to uh, to purchase the stealth material. So this will give you a good idea of what the, the stealth material looks like. Uh, so you're going to know if you want to invest uh, a lot of uh, quarks purchasing it, or if you're going to, to decide to purchase uh, the other materials. Uh, someday, many years from now, if I, when I finally get the other materials, I'll probably make a, a video about them. But right now, the one I have is the, the stealth material. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.